We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. Jordan Peele created this fake video of President Obama to demonstrate how easy it is to put words in someone else's mouth. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. Not everyone bought it, but the technology behind such frauds is rapidly improving, even as worries increase about their potential for harm. This is your Bloomberg Quick Take on deep fakes. Deep fakes, or realistic looking fake videos and audio, gained popularity as a means of adding famous actresses into porn scenes. Despite bans on major websites, they remain easy to make and find. They're named for the deep learning artificial intelligence algorithms that make them possible. Input real audio or video of a specific person, the more the better, and the software tries to recognize patterns in speech and movement. Introduce a new element like someone else's face or voice, and a deep fake is born. It's actually extremely easy to make one of these things. There were just some supposed, you know, breakthroughs from academic researchers who work with this particular kind of machine learning in the past few weeks, which would drastically reduce the amount of video you need actually to create one of these. Programs like Fake App, the most popular and widely available for making deep fakes, need dozens of hours of human assistance to create a video that looks like this, rather than this. In August, researchers at Carnegie Mellon revealed software that accurately rendered not just facial features, but changing weather patterns and flowers in bloom. This advance is not yet available to the public. But with increasing capability comes increasing concern. You know, this is kind of fake news on steroids, potentially. Um, we do not know of a case yet where someone has tried to use this to perpetrate a, a kind of fraud or an information warfare campaign, or, or for that matter, to really damage someone's reputation but it's the danger that everyone is really afraid of. In a world where fakes are easy to create, authenticity also becomes easier to deny. People caught doing genuinely objectionable things could claim evidence against them is bogus. Fake videos can also be difficult to detect, though researchers around the world and at the US Department of Defense have said they're working on ways to counter them. Deep fakes do, however, have some positive uses. Take Sarah Proc, a firm that creates digital voices for people who lose theirs from disease. Speech synthesis is the artificial production of human speech. There are also applications that could be considered either good or bad, like the many, many deep fakes that exist solely to turn as many movies as possible into Nicolas Cage movies. Oh, hi, Mark. 